joining us on the broadcast is Major Mohammad Ali Shah. Uh, good morning, sir, and thank you for joining us on NewsX. Uh, what do you make of this development? And Sunak, of course, uh, is talking about and lauding uh, the efforts of Egypt to open the Rafah border crossing and ensuring that humanitarian aid reaches the people of Gaza. Uh, most certainly, Pia. Pia, the very fact that the people of Gaza, who are innocent children, women, elderly, who haven't done anything wrong, who are just who happen to be a be a simple common citizen of there. What is their fault? Because of Hamas's ill actions, which is a banned terrorist organization, because of their actions, the civilians have to suffer. It's so unfortunate. It is really, really unfortunate and my heart cries seeing people from both the people from both the sides suffering, dying, brutally being killed. And at the same time, Though uh, Israel had given them a 24-hour ultimatum that people should vacate Gaza because they are going to be launching an attack against uh, an operation, a war against terrorism. So where will these people go, the civilians go? The very fact that all the other Arab nations, the neighboring nations, since uh, Gaza and Palestine are surrounded by Arab countries, the Muslim countries, they had shut the gates. They had closed all the borders, so they didn't have anywhere to go. So where would they go? Even if they, firstly, it's impractical to vacate a place in 24 hours. Even in a normal situation, normal circumstance, with a family, we cannot vacate a place in 24 hours. It's very, very difficult. And if you are in the hospital, if you are in the ICU, it's even more difficult. A discharge on from the hospital itself takes 24 hours, leave alone a discharge from an ICU. Now, where will they go? The other Arab nation who had closed the gates. Now, Rishi Sonak steps in and he says, okay, earlier Joe Biden had gone there. He'd given a clean shit to Israel as well that the attack on the hospital where 500 people had died. It was not done by Israel. It was done by a rocket which seemed to be of an Islamic jihadist uh, rocket. Fair enough. It could have been whatever. I mean, wh whoever did it, whoever did it, whether it was actually the uh, Hamas accident, because Israel also took out a press conference, the military, they spoke about an audio which was leaked, where Hamas officials uh, or uh, Hamas terrorists, the senior terrorists were talking about how, uh, oh, don't tell me, Abu, such a thing happened and such things. Now, the very fact, whoever did it, it's a loss to humanity. It's a loss to humanity. People have suffered. Now, the very fact that Rishi Sanak says, okay, open the Egyptian borders for the humanitarian aid to come in, I think it makes sense. I think there should be humanitarian aid. I think there should not be any... Uh, a danger to humanity, to civilians. It is most unfortunate that innocent children, ladies, elderly are suffering in this war for no fault of theirs at all. So I think it really makes sense where Egypt actually opens their borders and for humanitarian aid to come in. And earlier Joe Biden had gone there, now Rishik Sunak's with it. It should, hopefully, it should uh, bring in something and now Egypt is planning to do a peace conference very soon, peace summit and I hope that peace summit is fruitful and it really actually brings in peace because at the end of the day people are well-wishers of humanity which should be supported around the globe in fact yeah